everyone in this video we're going to learn a cool way to memorize trigonometry ratio in a right triangle before we're going to start make sure you check out the playlist geometry if you want to learn more geometry all right all right let's get started so given the triangle right here so this is the right triangle all right this is the right angle right here now let's name this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now keep in mind the side that opposite to the right angle always called hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Alright, we use letter H to represent hypotenuse. Alright, now if you have to use angle C, for example, you given the angle C equal 31 or something like that, and you need to use angle C to calculate other information, right? And then, the one opposite to angle C right here, this guy called opposite. Alright, we use letter O. The side length that's next to the angle C right here, this go adjacent. We use letter A. Alright, so keep that in mind. Now, go to the next right triangle right here. Same thing. This is B, this is A, and this is C. Keep in mind, the one opposite to the right angle never change. This is hypotenuse. We use letter H. Alright, in this situation, we're not going to use angle C because angle C is not given, but given angle A right here. Alright, so the one opposite to the angle A right here, this side right here, this guy become opposite we use letter O and then the silent right here becomes adjacent we use letter A alright so you see that it depends on what angle is given and what angle you're gonna use to calculate that added information alright so the opposite side or adjacent side might be different all right but hypotenuse remain unchanged all right now here's the cool way to memorize the trick ratio in the right triangle studying our homework consistently always helps to obtain achievements all right so just take a look at the first letter only S represent side O represent opposite H represent hypotenuse C represent cosine A represent adjacent and then T right here represent tension Alright C right side of angle C equal what side equal opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse all right now next one cosine of angle c equal what cosine this is cosine equal adjacent right here divided by hypotenuse so it could be adjacent over hypotenuse all right next one tension of angle c equal tension right here equal opposite over adjacent equal opposite over adjacent oh you can take tension keep in mind 
tangent of angle C equal sine of angle C divided by cosine of angle C. Sine of angle C which means opposite over hypotenuse. Right? Divide by cosine of angle C which means adjacent over hypotenuse. When you divide by a fraction, you need to multiply by its reciprocal, which means hypotenuse over adjacent. Right? Adjacent, adjacent over hypotenuse becomes hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse, hypotenuse cancel out. The answer should be opposite over adjacent, which is right here. Now, cotangent. Cotangent of angle C, you just take reciprocal of tangent. Right? Tangent equal opposite over adjacent. Cotangent should be adjacent over opposite. Alright. Now, let's have a look at the sample. So, given this one, Five. This one, three. Right? Question. What is the side C? Right? So we have side of angle C equal, right? We know that side equal opposite over hypotenuse. So we need to calculate hypotenuse first. In order to calculate hypotenuse, we need to use Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Now we know that this is five, this is three. And then we use Pythagorean for this one. So it's going to be what? Hypotenuse. So I don't know hypotenuse. I call this the S. So I have S square equal 5 square plus 3 square. Alright. 5 square equal 25. And then 3 square equal be 9. And this could be 34. And then you have S equal square root of 34. Alright. Now, side C equal, so this is 34, square root of 34, right? Now, side C equal, opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite, see right here, opposite should be 5. Hypotenuse should be root 34. Okay, make sure you radicalize this one. In order to radicalize this one, you need to multiply the top and bottom by root 34. Okay, now if you want to... Reviewed Algebra 1 concept about this topic, please check out the playlist Algebra 1 on my channel. Alright, so this is should be root 34, like this. Alright, so the answer should be 5 root 34 over root 34 times root 34, it should be 34, and it's the answer. Now, we need to find cosine C. Alright, so Cosine of angle C. Cosine right here equal adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent right here should be 3. So it's 3 over root 34. Alright, again, you need to radicalize this one. You cannot leave the answer like this. Keep that in mind. So basically, in order to radicalize this one, multiply the top and bottom by root 34. And then the answer must be equal. 3 root 34 over root 34 times root 34 equal 34. Alright, now move on to the next one. Side C, cosine C. Now, tension. Tension of angle C. Tension. You either take this one, divide by this one. Or you can use this one. Tension equal opposite over adjacent. Alright, opposite. Opposite should be 5. Adjacent should be 3. So that's the answer. Now, cotangent of angle C, it should be, right, reciprocal of tangent. So reciprocal of 5 over 3 should be 3 over 5. And that's the answer. And it's a good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you fail failing to prepare, you're repairing to fail. Nothing else makes me feel high. Like such a life